Hello, my name is Noelia Ceballos Santurey. I would like to tell you about the research work entitled Paralysis of Soybean Waste, a route to activated carbon for fungicide chlorotanin capture. This work was uh, developed at Intrigue uh, Concept in Cordoba, Argentina. Nowadays, the production of large-scale agroindustrial products involves the generation of waste in large volumes. The neg this negative impact on the environment must be remediated by rehabilitation of these wastes through different approaches. Examples of biomass residues are olive pomades, corn cobs, soybean paste, sugar cane bagasse, and many others. Among the solutions to this environmental problem, pyrolysis of these wastes is the preferred alternative. In general, in a biomass pyrolysis process, the certain material is introduced into the furnace at high temperatures and chemical reactions take place inside the oven. Depending on the condition used, for example, presence or not of an inner carrier gas, short or long residing time, vacuum conditions, etc., we can get different proportions uh, of products like heat and electricity, biofuels such as bio oil and biogas, and biochar containing highly added chemicals. Specifically, the feedstock uh, used in this study comes from the presence of soya beans to obtain oil. The residue left over from this production is what we call a soybean paste. This soybean paste is ground to a particle size of less than 1 mm and placed inside a vacuum sealed glass and pool, and then it is subjected to static paralysis uh, at temperatures. Uh, around 250 and 350 Celsius degrees for uh, 10, 30 and 60 minutes. After the reaction is complete, the ampoule is opened and the gas analysis is performed using infrared spectroscopy. The remaining fraction composed by carbonic solids impregnated with soluble substance was it is washed uh, with acetonitrile and ethanol using a soft correct apparatus. Uh, the solid uh, is then dried and ready for uh, the next stage. This mass um, recovery corresponds to what we call non-volatile fraction, which is made up of the carbonaceous solid and soluble products. It can be seen that the mass recovery in each uh, process reaction uh, tends to remain constant as the temperature increases. Uh, moreover, uh, after washing the non volatile fraction, we uh, left over the carbon, <coughs> and in this graph we can see the same triangle as we saw above, um, where the proportional carbon tends to a constant value as the temperature increases. It is also important to note that the percentage mass of recovery seems to be independent of the different reaction time. To find out the ability of these carbons to retain the pesticide chlorotanolin, 20 mg of, of them were placed on an extraction disc and then a blank solution was uh, passed through it. Finally, the chlorotanolin solution also was uh, passed through it and the aliquots were analyzed by UV visible spectra. Uh, here we uh, show you the um, red line and that corresponds to the uh, spectral curve of chlorotanolin and then when this solution is passed through the carbon, for instance the one obtained at 10 minutes of pyrolysis, the signal decreases by more than um, 70 percent similar result is obtained with the carbon at 60 minutes uh, while when we use uh, both compare the the retention ability with the activated the commercial activated carbon uh, we found that activated carbon has a, a 100 percent of uh, retention the conclusions of this work are that using the soybean residue we obtained a uh, carbon with uh, an effective retention 
of the carotenone in aqueous solution. It is expected that thermal and chemical oxidation of the carbon will further improve uh, their absorption properties and it will be also of great interest to test the carbon with aqueous matrices containing other pesticides or mixtures thereof. Uh, thank you very much. I'm looking forward for any question you may have. Thank you.